epic fail what you order online versus what you get i just washed my hair and i can't stop laughing at myself so let's have a look at how it looks like now hi guys good morning welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hello thank you so much for stopping by my name is she and i'm so sorry i look rough this morning because it is early of course and i'm going to be dyeing my hair i'm going to be using this dark and lovely color intensity anti-dryness permanent color um new olive oil treatment it says that it has intense shiny color and incredible soft feel and the color is amber blonde amber blonde so this is what i'm i'll be doing today so the box comes with a colorant this one here and a color developer this is here some gloves and a small treatment i don't think this will be enough for my hair so i'll use this one I'll be using Dewpoint Naturals Live-In Hair Treatment. And it also comes with some instructions you can use. So it's very simple to use. And something else that I need is this bowl, anti-metallic bowl. You can use a hair brush, but I am going to be using my makeup brush because there is no brush, it's broken. So I'm gonna be using this to just stir it and i just want to use my fingers i don't want to use a brush so this is what i'm going to be using i also have some rose water that i have put in my spray water bottle because it's easy to spray and i like to moisturize my hair before i start messing around with it i will also need some hair scrunchies or some hair bands for sectioning my hair i hope they do not turn blonde but if they do well and good have no choice i will need an old t-shirt as well or a towel whichever works for you for as long as it's something that's not going to leave fabric on your hair and then to wash my hair after the color i'll be using dark and lovely shampoo so step one let's go ahead and put on these gloves Step two, open your developer and pour it into your bowl. It's white in color and I have poured everything. I've put it all. And then I'm going to take this colorant. I will use the lid to pierce it. It has uh, something to pierce here. So you just pierce it like this. And then you can see it's already coming out. And then I'm just going to add this. These corners can cut through your gloves, so be very careful. Easy. I never thought you'd be the one. I'm going to put it all because I'm doing my entire head. So I'm done stirring it and as you can see it didn't turn blonde. Of course you don't expect it to turn blonde there. But when you put it on your hair then it will start turning blonde. So I'm just removing these gloves and I will put them again now i'm moisturizing my hair remember to wear an old t-shirt that you do not use oftenly a t-shirt that even when it gets the color you won't you won't mind if you put on your best Sunday, you are on your own. So now my hair is moisturized completely. As you can see. 
we're looking good so i'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair into four parts So that's it, I have my hair sectioned into four parts. I'll put back my gloves on. So I started with the end of my locks and I'm just going to wait for a bit longer and then I'll start doing my roots. guys it's been 20 minutes after application i've been waiting but this is a fail i just can't believe it oh my god like nothing has changed nothing at all and even it's starting to dry out on my hair but nothing has changed the end of my locks is just the blonde that was there before but this part was black and it still is black after 20 minutes of application It's my first time using dark and lovely i always use color intensity and when i bought it i expected this blonde do you see this kind of blonde that's there but this is what i get my hair still the same hasn't changed i followed the instructions on the booklet and it's the same procedure i used to apply the color intensity and this blonde that you see down here i'm the one who applied it using a uh, color intensity so it's not like it's my first time dyeing my hair i've done this so many times i've colored my entire head and i've also colored halfway in my locks before i've never seen this before i don't know what's happening is it really expired or what's happening i've even tried finding out whether the product is expired it says that the product will expire in 2022 so i don't know maybe i should give it a bit more time at the moment is it's 11 17 so i'll give it like 20 more minutes and then see if there is going to be any change so that means i will keep it on for like 40 minutes so yeah let's add the 20 more minutes and if nothing happens then i'm just gonna wash it off and consider it a fail and then i'll try something else so yeah let's wait so guys it is now 11 of 40 we last spoke at 11 17 so i have literally kept this thing on my head for almost 40 45 minutes and it's now drying and i cannot keep it any longer on my head 
so while i was waiting for those 20 minutes i started checking on youtube whether there has been some other fails using dark and lovely and i'm so glad to know that i am not alone some other fails were so hilarious so this is a product that i have always wanted to try but i thank god i have tried it and it didn't work so i don't think i'm going to be using it again i'm not saying that this product is bad it just hasn't worked for me i don't know where i went wrong but i have seen it has worked for some people but i guess it's just not for me so i'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair using this dark and lovely shampoo and then i'll give it i'll give my hair a break for like a couple of days and then i will get um and then i'll get the color intensity and we shall give it another try so guys i just washed my hair and i can't stop laughing at myself so let's have a look at how it looks like now and then i'm just going to put some tcb coconut oil Even though it still has water, it feels so hard and stiff. So this is what I expected. But what you order online versus what you get. But I didn't order this product online. I bought it from Carrefour. My natural hair is always like black black but now it's no longer that black black it looks a bit browny so definitely this is not the color that i wanted i don't know if you can see let me just come close to the camera so that you can see some some brownie brownie parts at the it looks a bit purplish i don't know at the roots until next time